how good is your knowledge of electrical symbols? So this first flashcard has seven electrical components and we need to name them and then describe their function. So let's start off here, number one, with a switch. A switch and fairly straightforward, this will connect or disconnect a circuit. Connects or disconnects a circuit. Okay, the next symbol, number two, is a cell. <clears throat> Excuse me, is a cell. A cell. Now, a cell is an electrical energy source. And the larger line here is the positive terminal. So we can say that this is a, uh, a source of electrical energy and it has a voltage, a potential difference which will drive a current around a circuit if it's a complete circuit. So it's got a constant voltage. The next symbol is very similar in that it is an electrical energy supply but it's got this wavy line and that's telling us that the the voltage of this component let's put that in here is going backwards and forwards and it's usually going backwards and forwards at about 50 times a second uh, this is the the type of electrical energy supply that the that comes into your home it's the mains electricity uh, supply uh, going backwards and forwards 50 times a second and that's at 240 volts so we call this an AC supply and AC stands for alternating current so an alternating backwards and forwards current uh, supply So very much like a cell, but just going backwards and forwards instead of having a constant voltage. The next component, this strange one with two equal length lines, is called a capacitor. So I must make sure they're the same length. A capacitor. And this is a temporary store of electrical energy. So stores electrical charge and it can it's usually only temporary it's usually only temporary okay in a future flashcard we'll take a look at capacitors and how they work right the last three first of all we've got this rectangular box like thing and uh, this as you probably know is a resistor and it converts electrical energy electrical energy into thermal energy or heat energy right the final two this strange one with uh, curly lines so we've got this kind of situation like this dink 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 okay now this is called a transformer these are coils and we have a core this is a core here and then this is the secondary coil so this would be these are separate circuits and this is usually linked to an alternating current supply so we would usually link the left hand side here to an alternating AC supply because transformers need to have a varying voltage and current in order to work. What do they do? They step up or step down the voltage. So they step up or step down the voltage. 
And this is useful because you can uh, use the mains electricity supply in your home, which is going backwards and forwards 50 times a second, connect it to a transformer, and you can step down the voltage to 12 volts. So this might be 230 volts, and this might be then 12 volts, which you could use with electronic equipment. So that's a transformer, and we'll be looking at those in future flashcards. And finally, we have this strange box and with a, a switch look, uh, type of thing in it. And let's just have a look at that. Okay. There we go. And the whole thing is encased in a kind of dotted line. And this component is called a relay. It's called a relay. And it is a type of an electrical switch, electrically operated switch. How does it work? This box is actually a coil of wire, which is an electromagnet, it probably has an iron core in it. So when you put a current through this part of the circuit, you might link this to a, a battery or a cell, then this switch is on the electromagnet. This switch is made of iron, and so the electromagnet attracts the iron by induction, and the switch then moves to the closed position. So by operating the left-hand circuit, we've operated the right-hand circuit. And relays are used to isolate a control circuit from perhaps a high-power circuit. For example, in your car, when you turn the engine on, um, you don't want the very, very high current to go through um, the, the key switch circuit when you, uh, when you turn the engine over with your key. So that's a relay, an electrically operated switch. See you in the next flashcard.